bourbon caramel sauce. So you can make a caramel just by melting sugar in a pot. So we have here a cup of sugar into our pot. Um, to this, we are going to add about a quarter cup of water, really just enough water to get that sugar mixable. This is going to allow us to have a little bit more control over the caramel. So when you are melting the sugar, some crystals like to climb up the sides of the pot and just hang out there. What happens is those crystals that are hanging onto the sides of your pot are at a different stage of caramelization than the rest of your sugar in the bottom. If you knock one of those off while stirring or just jarring the pot, it can seize your whole caramel. So to avoid that, you can make a caramel and just not stir it, or you can add an acid. Um, cream of tartar is most typically used, but I forgot to buy cream of tartar again, so we're just gonna use a little bit of lemon juice about a half teaspoon in this case. Just mix that in. And then we want about a medium low heat. And you can adjust that as you watch and just see the process of your caramel changing colors. So at this point, we're just gonna hang out and let these sugars turn a dark amber color. Um, don't leave the stove. You wanna be here for the whole process, really. Once it starts to turn to a dark color, it's gonna go very quickly. Okay, so a gentle simmer is just what we're looking for. Since we added that stabilizer, we can stir occasionally. Now, this is a pretty good um, simmer for caramel. If your pot comes up to a rolling boil, turn the beast down, that's too much. Now, this does take a few minutes for those sugars to actually start turning to caramel, but it's kind of like toasting nuts, where the second you turn your back, they just immediately turn to ash behind you. And this caramel, you know, the second you turn your back, it will just be a rock hard and just start again. So you know you're getting close when you can kind of see the bubbles on top starting to take on a more glass candy-like appearance. They're a little bit thick. It takes them a minute to pop. I can also start to see a little bit of amber around this edge here. Um, if this is your first time making caramel and you're not sure how dark is too dark, just pick an item in your kitchen that is a good brown color. We'll use this bottle of bourbon. This is the color we're going for. When the caramel in the pot turns this color, we're gonna take it off the heat. And give just a light stir. Okay, so we're seeing some good color change now, getting very close. And this is where you start to look. You look at the color, you look at the color of the item you picked. Not there yet, almost. The darker you take it, the deeper uh, toffee flavor it's gonna have. Okay, we are the color of that bourbon. We're shutting off our heat. I like to take the pot right off the heat there so it doesn't continue to cook. We're gonna add some butter to it. If you poured this out right now, you'd have about 10 seconds before it immediately started to solidify and it would just be like a rock hard caramel. Great for some applications, but not today. Carefully put your butter in. This is boiling sugar. It's gonna fizz up. So then you just whisk like mad. Okay, go ahead and add your bourbon. Watch out for the steam, very warm. We are adding salt, a couple good pinches here. Once all that butter is melted and incorporated, you take about a half cup of heavy cream, whisk that in. Beautiful. I'm gonna turn our heat back on for a second and let the simmer down just a bit. It's pretty runny right now. I want it just a little thicker. It will thicken up a little bit as it cools, but basically if your caramel sauce is too thick, add a little bit more cream. If it's not thick enough, simmer a little bit more of that water out of it. So we'll simmer this just a bit here. It'll be ready to go. This, so this plate that we had our whisk on, you can see the caramel that didn't have any cream in it has solidified into like rock hard candy. Okay, with the cream in here, this causes it to froth up pretty good. So once you get pretty frothy, off the heat. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Until it comes back down. And I do wanna keep this moving pretty good. There's a lot of sugar, there's a lot of fats in here that we don't want anything burning to the bottom of the pan. All right, 
right. Now for taste. Now this is boiling sugar, so let it cool before you stick your tongue on it. That's pretty heckin' good. So by bringing this back to a summer, we've cooked off the alcohol, so you're just left with that really delicious, deep, bourbony, caramely, nutty flavor. All right, so while it's still pretty liquidy, you'll see in here it's thick, but it's so warm right now, it's pouring like water. So we are going to very carefully, I'm gonna preheat this jar by running some warm water into it. Dry it out, you don't want water in your caramel. Okay, and just very carefully, this is hot sugar. Pour that right on in. Wow, can we just take a moment? This is a brand new jar, and I just guessed on the portion sizes. It's perfect. I love it when that happens. Okay. So to finish this off, we got some just Malden salt flakes here. Sprinkle on, a little bit of extra salty goodness on there. And that is bourbon caramel sauce. Thanks for watching. You could hit that like and subscribe button for me. That would be stellar. We've got lots more recipe videos and tutorials on our YouTube channel here, and also on our website, cleavercooking.com. Enjoy. By bringing it back to a simmer, um, <coughs> caramel to your throat. By bringing it back to a simmer, we're cooking off the alcohol. Let me give this to kids. Oh my God. <coughs>